Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can begin to set up weapon switching on your heads up display inside of your game. Now weapon switching is sort of going to be two videos, there is going to be one part which is this one for the heads up display where we'll be switching between icons and text for the AK-47 and the M4A1 that we're going to be implementing later on and then the second video it's going to be showing you how to actually you know spawn in your second weapon into your hand and all of that good stuff so today we're going to be getting the icons moving we're going to get the text changing and we're also going to set up the input so when you press one or two on the keyboard it's going to change your weapon or what weapon is displayed on your heads up display anyway. So open up your project and then within here, the first thing that we need to do is go to our project settings and set up the inputs for changing our weapon. So on the left hand side, go to inputs, action mappings, and then add an action mapping. Add two of these, just press the little add action mapping button twice. First one is gonna be select primary. And then the second one is gonna be called select secondary and these are just going to be used to select your secondary and your primary weapons for the primary on the keyboard this should be equal to one and then on the keyboard for secondary this is going to be equal to two so now if they press one on their keyboard it's going to select their primary weapon if they press two on their keyboard it's going to select their secondary weapon so that's all good that's all set up now what we need to do is create some kind of variable inside of our third person character so the engine essentially knows which weapon we're using. If, you know, the, if, you know, the variable is equal to one, it's gonna be their primary weapon. If it's equal to two, it's gonna be their secondary weapon. So open up your third person character, give it a couple of seconds to load up, and then within here, zoom all the way out, and also in your variables tab in the bottom left, add a variable and just call it weapon selected. And then go ahead and hit compile. And then with this, change your variable type to integer. And the reason why we're using an integer is because we need it to be a numerical value. We don't want it to be a float either because we don't need any decimal places, so just integer is fine. Compile this and then just set your default value to 1 because when you spawn in the game already you have the AK-47. So what we're going to do now then is use those two action events, those inputs, to change this variable between 1 and 2. And then on the heads up display if it's equal to 1 we're going to tell it to display the AK-47 information. And if it's equal to 2 we're going to tell it to implement, uh, not implement but display the M4A1 information. So right click and then just type in select primary weapon and then again select secondary weapon just like that and we're all good and what we're going to do with this is tell it to set your weapon selected between one and two so one for the primary and two for the secondary now we're going to need a load of code later on after this to you know hide the other weapon and you know disable the functionality and all that stuff but we're not going to worry about that for now just focus on the functionality for the variable and the heads up display for this video hit compile and now we've got this working we can move over to our heads up display and open this up and then within here we're going to create the two elements that we need now if you go to the latest version of my heads up display Inside of Photoshop, you can see I've got some text and I've also got some icons. I need to switch between these essentially. So the text is easy, really easy to set up. Just drag a piece of text in and then with this, just create a binding for the text. So create binding and then beginning from here, cast to your third person character so you can actually get access to the, you know, get, you know, weapon selected. And then with this, with your weapon selected, go ahead and get, not get, sorry, you want to switch on int. So switch on int right down at the bottom here and then hook this up to your selection. And what this is going to do, if you add a couple of pins, so zero and one, uh, sorry, zero and one and two. Don't worry about zero, we won't ever use that. So zero, 
uh, is going to be empty. One is going to be here, and two is going to be here. Default, get rid of that as well. But def uh, return value for one is going to be AK47. And then return value over here for two is going to be M4A1. Just like that. And what this is going to do is essentially change the text on the, on the screen depending on the weapon selected. So I'm going to show you how that looks in a second. Object wildcard, simply type in get player character. Compile this. And I'm also going to anchor this to the bottom right as well. And then if we test this quickly, by default, it should say AK-47. When I press 2 on my keyboard, it's going to change to a, uh, M4A1, and I can see that that's all working, and whenever I change between those, it does exactly what I need it to do. So what we need to do now then is the icon stuff. Now for the icons, you need to make sure you have got the latest version of my FPS HUD, because inside of there, I actually have, if I can get to this, I have the icons for the two weapons. So let me show you those. So I've got M4A1 icon, and I've also got AK47 icon. Just inside of your engine, if you haven't got them already, just drag and drop them in. So just paste both of these in here, just like that, and we're all good. So with these now, we need to bring those into our heads up display. So drag two images in, one for each one, and then, inside of your content browser, just go to your HUD export, and then, if we make this a little bit bigger, whoops, my speakers are just going crazy at the moment, um, with the first one, click it, select your AK-47, and then just go to your image over here, and just drag and drop that in. Second one, M4A1, and just drag and drop that in using selected asset from browser. So that's all good, and that's all set up. We've got two icons. Now, we only ever want one of these to show at a single time. So that's what we need to work on now. What I'm also gonna do is quickly make my text a little bit smaller because it's way too big at the moment. So I'm gonna set this to something like 30. No, that's too big still. Maybe 19, uh, 18 even. And then I'm gonna change my text style to light, and I'm just gonna chuck it in there. Cool. Next bit, I'm going to put my weapons in here. So I am essentially going to just put these on top of each other. Just like that. Because I want them to go in the same place. I'm just going to turn the visibility on and off. So now then is the hard bit, which is getting the icons to display. Uh, only when they need to. So what I'm going to do is set a binding for the visibility with the AK-47 selected first. Create a binding. And then I'm going to cast to the third person character where we have the information for, um, you know, the weapon selected. I'm going to tell it to return one of two values, either visible or hidden. So what I'm going to do is switch on integer again, really powerful node, and then add three pins, zero, one, and two, ignore the zero. So one, and two, and then selection should be hooked up to this. And because this one is the heads up, uh, the AK-47, I only want this to return visible if one is selected. So if one is selected, we want it to be visible. If two is selected, we want it to be hidden. And that's all good. And then we just need to do the same thing for our M4A one, but just swap these around essentially. So object wildcard, once again, get player character, because, you know, we're casting to the player character essentially. And then what I'm going to do is select all of this, go back to my design view, and then with my M4A1 selected, create that same visibility binding, and then just delete your return value and paste in everything that you just created before. But this time, we want to switch these values around. So we want the M4A1 to be visible if 2 is selected, and then hidden if 1 is selected. And now, if we compile this, go to my design view and anchor these down to the bottom right hand corner, everything should work. I'm just going to make sure I place this on top of each other. Don't worry about it overlapping because we're only showing one at a time. 
hit press play and now you can see in the bottom right hand corner I've got my AK-47 icon and then when I press 2 on my keyboard, it changes to my M4A1 and it looks quite nice. Now that's pretty much everything on the heads up display side of things for weapon switching. There's still loads more that we need to cover in terms of, you know, socketing, attaching and detaching weapons, that kind of stuff. But for now, we are all good. Once again guys, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep curating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.